I'm Molly Manzanares, and I grew up about five miles south of Chama. I grew up in a cattle ranching family, and then we married and started raising sheep. Actually, my husband had about 90 head when we got married and grew from there. So then I learned to spin and learned to weave and learned to dye yarn. And like I said, I grew up in a cattle ranching family, so I had to learn to love the sheep. And it took me a while, but part of that love is that they give so much. They give you their wool and they give you their lamb and they give you their life in the end. We now have a large flock that we run up in the Carson National Forest in the summertime, and then around here we feed in the wintertime. We were part of the group that started the organization Ganados del Valle, and that's where Tierra Wolves came from. It's been 40 years now. We started in 1982. Weaving has been going on for centuries in this area. It's part of the fabric of the culture. I think it's really important to continue that tradition. I mean, there's so many things that can be done with the wool and it's almost incomprehensible how much a, a small flock of sheep, how much economic activity they've produced over the years. What we do here, we do quite a bit of consignment. So we do train weavers, and we have quite a few weavers who learned here, and then they go home and they weave, and then they bring their things back to sell here. And it's, it's, a, it's this kind of cycle that happens, and it, that, that's very enjoyable. In my way of thinking, if it's tied to economics of the region, it makes much more sense. There's always the hobby aspect of weaving, but, but there's something about it being part of the economy that it's hard to describe, but it, it, I think that is something that is necessary in these small communities for it to, to thrive, to survive and to thrive. We sell rugs of all different sizes. We sell um, yarn. We sell a lot of yarn, different kinds of yarn, yarn for weaving and yarn for knitting. We sell some apparel. We have uh, pillows, a lot of home decor items. We do equipment, certain equipment for weaving. We also have uh, looms that are made by a local woodworker. And mostly wool. I mean, we try to focus on wool. Sometimes we'll have some alpaca or mohair or other natural fibers, sometimes cotton, but generally we try to stick with wool. Our rural areas are declining in population and in opportunity. How we keep it going is a big question because it's not, it's not just sheep. It, you know, as every, most everyone knows, it's agriculture in general is under a lot of pressure all the time. I think it's really important that one, that you have at least one person who's like very interested in making the thing happen because otherwise it just, it just can't continue. But it's very important to me that it continue 